shorting still front and center in the Reddit trade, many pointing to the recent swings in AMC being driven by so-called naked shorts, the illegal practice of short selling a stock without actually locating that stock to borrow. So is naked shorting happening in this market? Our next guest says, yes, it is. Let's bring in Jacob Frankel, former SEC invest enforcement lawyer. He is now a partner at Dickinson Wright. Jacob, great to have you with us. Good to be back with you. Simple as that, naked shorting exists in this market, even though it's an illegal practice. Well, it's not entirely illegal, but yes, in the, in the large cap market, it absolutely would be uh, Ill illegal if, if, a, um, if a party is unable to locate the shares, borrow the shares, deliver the shares. Yes, under those circumstances, um, it is illegal. And it's something that's been going on in the market for a long time. What really has happened here is companies like GameStop, AMC, all these meme stocks have brought naked short selling really to the forefront of the market's interest. This is something that's going on for a very long time in the small cap market and is very much a problem. Is it, can you give us an idea of how big of a problem? You said it's existed for a long time. Is it rampant? Is it in, in small pockets of the market? Why isn't the SEC doing something about it if it is, in fact, illegal? The, the, short, the short answer is I think it's difficult to find. And it's also not a sexy type of case. I mean, the fact is the SEC has not brought many naked short cases. I mean, they did bring one about three weeks ago. Uh, so, so in 2021, involving more than 90 naked short sales from December 26 through July 2017, broker dealer made $1.6 million in commissions. It took four years for the SEC to bring that case. 2012, case against the Wolfson brothers, same thing. It took the, the SEC five years to bring a case. And what they charged were stock locate issues, order marking, failure to borrow, delivery violations. We're not seeing charges of fraud or manipulation. I think the reason for that is these cases are hard to find, they're tedious to put together, and it, it really is a challenge for the SEC to bring these cases. But now that it is in the discussion, hopefully we will see more naked court cases, and particularly seeing it charged as fraud or manipulative activity. Jacob, it's Karen. Thanks for being on. So if I were to try to think about how much of this naked shorting is actually going on in, let's say, an AMC, is that a lot of intraday shorting like we were talking about during the commercial break? Is it up to an option expiration and then kind of gets uh, flattened out? What, how big is it, do you think, around uh, aside from those two things? Well, th that's really the challenge is we really don't we really don't know because a lot of it turns on, you know, on on a it's a very firm, specific analysis. Is there coordination? Is there manipulative activity? Is it intraday, intraday, as you point out? I mean, when I was at the commission and enforcement, you know, I did a, a manipulation case that involved marking the flows at a quarter end, looking only at 30 minutes of trading. It does not have to be over an extended period of time. The issue is identifying it. And the people who see it or see it most closely are those who are in the market. And then the question then is, are they willing to bring that information directly to the attention of the SEC, which often then means also poking around in that company's books? So, and I'll, I should also add, the short sellers for a long time and probably and to this day are an important source of information for the SEC's enforcement division. By no means do I want to suggest the SEC you know, has turned a blind eye. On the other hand, we really have not seen that many cases over the years involving fraud on the short side. I like how you say you don't, you don't want to say the SEC is turning a blind eye, but basically implying that the SEC is turning a blind eye because that's exactly what you're doing, Jay. I mean, if I'm watching this, I'm thinking, you know what? The SEC doesn't want to investigate the source of so many tips that it gets into other um, manipulative practices or, or deceptive practices, et cetera. But it, it, in, in fairness, it also is a matter of the information actually being brought to the attention, the attention mm -hmm. of the SEC. In other words, while the SEC has powerful tools, if you think about it, you know, what would satisfy the market most from an enforcement perspective? To see a naked short case brought quickly so it has an impact. And right. I shared with you two, two examples where it took four years and five years to actually bring the case. The problem is the agency needs to see the conduct, be able to identify it, and then you know, look at the broker dealer. Look at look at the broker dealer's record. Look at the funds record. Look at the traders' records. Talk to individuals. These are very tedious cases to put together. And I think as we have a heightened sensitivity 
to this issue in the market, being brought to the forefront by higher profile companies and higher profile meme trading activity, maybe we will more likely see more cases in this area. But up until now, you we, we only have seen these we've only seen short sale fraud cases favoring activity in the small cap market because that tends to be a much lower hanging fruit. Jacob, great to get your thoughts as always. Thank you. Jacob Frankel. Um, Karen, you've been looking into this sort of in, in your own way, yeah. making calls to... Well, Roberts. I wonder if there's not the impetus to do anything with naked short selling now because the perception is it's the big players that are naked shorting, if anyone's naked shorting, and they're getting slaughtered. And so, um, okay. Let it be. Let it be, yeah, you know. It's the law of the jungle, I guess. Right. I don't know. Because it does seem like... They're sort of saying we're not going to pursue it. Yeah, Tim, or or they're pursuing it, and it'll be three years, four years before we see any sort of fruits of that labor. Yeah, look, if there's a public perception that naked short sellers, uh, or first of all, that short sellers, because uh, naked short sellers, we we all agree, is not something that should be happening. And largely, uh, Jacob Frankel said it was, it's illegal. It's not always illegal. Um, but that, it, that if this is ultimately hurting the retail investor and that, you know, the, the, the commission, the SEC is certainly out there to protect the interests of, of the broader investing public. Um, and, and I'd say on some level, even more so um, than the institutional community, that, that maybe this is the catalyst to, to spend more time and more focus on this. It's just interesting because as, as we've talked about the, the GameStop, the Reddit Rebellion, the apes uh, over the last three to six months, um, the story has really been more about... Uh, you know, possible manipulation, possible, um, you know, disclosure dynamics, uh, the ability to push stocks around, um, not necessarily the reason why they got to an overly shorted place, I think. And, and obviously the narrative is changing, and I think the SEC is paying attention to that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.